Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Are you having a hard time seeing or your eye hurts and you don't know why? Well, it might be a detached retina. And Dr. Mark Bearcat here is with us from the Retinal Consultants. And this is a very important uh, situation as we were talking before we came on because everyone thinks, well, you know what? I got this little spot over here. Maybe I'm dehydrated. Maybe I scratch my eye too much, but it could be actually a, detach, a detached retina, right? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. It's actually a really important topic. Uh, you know, most of us have these floaters every now and then, these little black spots moving around. And uh, frankly, when you get a, a larger one, it could be a detachment of the vitreous, which is the gel inside the eye. And, and if that leads to a detached retina, that can lead to blindness if not addressed. Well, all right, so how do I know if I have one? I mean, I know we were just talking a little bit, you said different ways, but yeah. even if I say, okay, you know what? Yeah, it's a few little spots here, but you're saying it can get worse too. I mean, that's a great question. It, it, it's hard to tell. And that's one of the reasons to come in, frankly. If you have this, Everyone has these few floaters, but it has this really large floater, and suddenly you get these flashes on the side, especially at nighttime when you move your head left and right. Um, those are all symptoms. Uh, having a shadow or shade or curtain coming over your vision could be possibly even worse. And the, the, really the key is the treating it early. Because if you catch it early and it's just a torn retina, which is the inside lining of the eye, right, the photoreceptors, you can treat that in the office. But if the actual retina detaches, then you actually need surgery. All right, so how do I, how do I kind of like know the symptoms a little bit more? Or why, uh, let me go back, but what causes this? Because some people might think that it's caused by rubbing the eye or scratching or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, and, and that's a great point, right? Trauma can cause retinal detachments, but most commonly it's nothing. I mean, most people are, most of the patients I see are, they're minding their own business, sitting on the couch. Next thing they know, they get these symptoms. Symptoms. Let's be honest, when you get new symptoms, most of the time you say, well, it'll probably get better yeah. and we'll wait it out a little bit. I don't want to rush to the doctor. And I get that. And many times you're okay, but sometimes you're not. That's the problem. Yeah. All right. So what, tell me a little bit what you guys do there at the uh, retinal consultant, because that's very important to know when someone's going down there, because I'm, I'm a little scared because you're messing with my eyes. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And, and the goal really is to try to address it with a minimal amount of intervention as possible, right? Most of the time when people come in with those symptoms, they do not have a detachment. They do not need surgery. Just monitor. Right? But then if it's a torn retina, which is the stage before the attachment, you can treat that in the office with a laser, right? Minimal intervention, no infection risk, it's bright light. But if it actually gets to the point where the retina is detached, you want to intervene before you lose more vision, that's an outpatient surgery and has a high success rate, about 90%. All right, we were talking to, I was a little nervous, I mean, be, I, I'm a little nervous, a little <laughs> worried because you are messing my eyes, but I like how you're reassuring me. Yeah. And afterwards, I, I mean, before we were a little nervous, because you said you will feel a little bit of vision kind of blurriness when you get this done, but after all that's gone, you're back to your regular vision, right? And, and, the, and the key is good vision going into surgery has a good prognostic indication for good vision coming out. So really the, the key is you want to catch it early because if you go into it with already a lot of central vision loss, then the outcome is not as good. Yeah. Let's also remind people that this is not just a certain age. I'm 50 and I'm thinking, okay, but this can actually happen to someone younger too, right? It can. It does happen to folks that are a little bit older like us, right? <laughs> but, but it can happen early for other reasons. You know, diabetes is one of the big factors as well, frankly. So you, know, you don't want to blow it off. So I like that. I, I'm feeling so good about this <laughs> that you well. helped me with my vision. <laughs> this is so much fun. Um, how can people find out more about, of course, uh, what they can do to prevent? Uh, a retinal detachment and also if they do need to have some help. No, frankly, you can visit us online. There's a lot of informative videos online as well. Um, also, American Academy of Ophthalmology is a good resource. So uh, all those things are, are good resources for, for folks to find out. I love it. There you go. And, and I'll tell you, he is so fun and comfortable to talk with. I, I like it because now I want to come see you because I want to make sure in 2020 I have 2020. Are you tired of those jokes? Oh, you, you went there. <laughs> I went there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Dr. Mark, thanks right, for coming man. in. Thanks for having right, me. See, I, I love it. <laughs> see, we're seeing things eye to eye. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh no, it I'm gets on worse. Fire today. It I'm gets worse. worse.